Doc Design Students. This lesson gives you some tips on how to deal with Microsoft's templates, particularly in Word 2007. Uh, it's the Easter season and I received an email that said, uh, hey, check out this link at Microsoft to get uh, a free template for this flyer, which has a very nice Easter egg background that somebody has done some fancy work in, uh, creating a high definition band and then a fade out band. So. Uh, I thought that'd be pretty neat, and I also knew that this would be a good chance to illustrate what I have found to be troublesome about Word 2007 templates. Okay, so first thing to know is that you need to be dealing with Microsoft's site using only Microsoft's browser. Sorry, but they put an ActiveX control, uh, and they will detect when you're not using their browser and, and make you jump through hoops. Uh, so it's not worth it. Just uh, use the Microsoft browser and allow them to install the ActiveX controls needed to download and open the templates in whatever Microsoft Office product uh, the template corresponds to. In this case it's Word, so I, when I click the link it downloaded it and opened it up automatically uh, in Word. It opened it up as a uh, Word 2007 file, but what I'm going to show you is that in fact, uh, you're better off saving the Word 2007 file as a uh, Word 2003 compatible file. And here's why. Uh, here's the template as it arrives from Microsoft, a nice looking Word 2007 file. The problem is that because Word 2007 is based on XML, the way they assemble their templates uh, is much more uh, cumbersome to work with. Uh, so let's inspect what we have here. We have a picture box in the background. We apparently have a text box. This is the outer lines here. Uh, and inside the text box you have a number of fields. Uh, and these fields have variable text in them. So if I want to adjust this template, I have to go into each one of their fields and you're very limited in what you can do. Now you could delete a field, you could try to move fields around, but when you try to deal with these objects, uh, changing them in any way, you run into uh, various sorts of unpredictable behavior by Word. Um, and I'll let you play around with that yourself uh, to learn the lesson, which is a simple one. You want to use this material you're finding it difficult to do in Word 2007, so you simply go up here to Save As and choose the Word 97 to 2003 document. All right, that will produce the other copy, uh, which I have open, uh, compatibility mode copy, same thing, but you see that the components are much simpler and easier to deal with. You have the same background picture, uh, but inside instead of a bunch of fields you have one big text box and you can just type into the text box I don't know why this keeps opening up on the right there but keep uh, you've got as you can see I can just scroll through the text box line by line I can erase everything and start over again I can put in a new text box etc um, much easier to deal with so this is how I would handle this type of template from Microsoft, I'd immediately convert it to Word 2003 uh, and start, uh, you know, making my modifications there. Now, the downside is that some really fancy templates, you will lose some features of the template. Uh, but for most of the kinds of work that we do in this course, uh, this is the path of least resistance, and it will get us to the goal sooner than any other.